So I just made a very aggressive style of Bruin MK9 using the conversion kit for the weapon. And thinking back on it, it's been a little while since I actually covered the normal Bruin here. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're targeting no recoil and really using it like its true self is supposed to be used. And that's gonna be long range fights. So what we're doing is limiting the recoil, but also focusing on those LMG statistics. For my first attachment here, I have the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5X. LMGs are normally weapons that are used at medium and long range, not necessarily close range. So I like to have a magnified scope here. At the end of the day, it is a preference. You can go with the iron sights or a different optic altogether. It is my preferred optic of choice. For the rear grip, I have the Stip 40 grip for recoil control and gun kick control. It's gonna be a lot of attachments just like this one in order to limit the recoil and make it easier to hit your shots at 7% across the board there to gun kick horizontal and vertical recoil control. So this is another preference attachment in the 60 round mag. I personally like to have that faster aim down sight speed simply due to my play style. You can go with the 100 round mag if you want to, but it is going to come down to preference and overall play style. If you're a slower paced player, the 100 round mag will be a good option. But if you're like me and you're a little faster, the 60 round mag does a fantastic job because of all of the mobi mobility and aim down sight speed. There's not much to talk about here. You guys can see all the statistics on the screen, but I mean, holy crap, man. What can you say? 12% of the ADS and 12% of the sprint to fire. You're looking at AR like statistics at this point. It's a slow pace AR, but still AR like statistics. For the under barrel here, I have the Bruin heavy support grip. I covered this attachment a lot. It's my favorite one in the entire game when it comes to limiting visual recoil control and overall recoil control in general. So you're gonna get 10% there to the gun kick and 8% to the horizontal recoil control. But more importantly is that fire aiming stability, which is going to eliminate the visual shake on the weapon. And the next attachment is gonna be more of the same. So I am going to give you two options here when when it comes to the muzzle, I'm personally running the Scratch 20L suppressor to keep myself off of the minimap and make myself a little more stealthy. That's gonna give you fire aiming stability, which is that visual shake. The next attachment you can run is the Zem Compensated Flash Hider. It is gonna take away a little bit of aim down sight speed, but also does the same thing as that suppressor by taking away visual recoil control, but at the same time, you're gonna get a little more in the forms of vertical and horizontal recoil control. So go with the Zem Compensator or the Scratch L there. You're gonna find success either way. So as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys felt the need to copy this one down, I got a comment on my last Bruin video saying, oh no, not this Bruin brain rot again. Am I missing something? Was there a Bruin meta that I somehow missed here in Modern Warfare 3? I don't remember it. I don't think it was ever like a meta. I could be wrong, but you guys go down in the comment section and let me know. Here is also the rest of the loadout on the screen if you guys wanted to pause the video to also copy down my perks, lethals, tacticals, field upgrades, whatever you guys are looking to do, make sure you guys do that right now. We're gonna jump into a gameplay to feature my no recoil LMG style Bruin here. You guys are gonna like this one. You guys are gonna like the build. No matter what kind of play style you have, this is a good option simply because it dominates on the map. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. So I recently covered the Bruin conversion kit. I wanna say two and a half, maybe three weeks ago. It made me wanna cover the long range Bruin again because last time I kinda popped off. As you guys know, LMGs aren't typically my cup of tea, but I truthfully enjoyed this one. I have zero complaints with this uh, particular LMG. I've been able to make it fast enough. I don't know where this guy is. Okay, so he's right here, hold on. Now we get a dip, yep. So it's basically simple. This 60 round magazine is the reason. I've been able to enjoy the weapon because it speeds it up enough that you don't feel like a complete slug. You're still not exactly fast on the map, but you're fast enough that you can use it like an AR. The score at the moment is not looking promising from a gameplay perspective, but I'm sure I can find a way to make it work here. It looks like they're all gonna be, I guess completely wrong. I was thinking they were gonna head to that window. They didn't, bad, bad luck on my part. That's the problem. You can't get close range with people you will struggle. That's how, how the cookie crumbles. Unfortunately, it is an LMG, of course. The good news is, is I still have a 60 round mag, which means I can just sit there and spray in long range fights. Like not necessarily like spray, like stereotypical, stereotypical, you know, sit there and spray, but think of it like a 60 round mag assault rifle. You remember the, the kilo? The Kilo had a 60 round mag on it. 
So I, but I'm not saying it's as good as the kilo. I miss that weapon every day. Let me tell you. Every day I miss the freaking kilo. So it's definitely not on the same scale, but it's similar in the sense that you have 60 bullets that you can use. Use with ease at that. All right, we have our VTOL. I'm probably just gonna hit it because this, ah, I kind of don't want to hit it because the score is getting out of hand, but it's a good, uh, it's a good thing to break the hill. There we go, that picked us up three. We can hit the advanced. Now hit a flank behind him. Hit my pistol to run faster. Oh, that's tragic. That is tragic to be honest. I don't know. I can't in my right mind figure out why the heck they just spawned there. Can't in my right mind. That doesn't make sense. I ran all the way to the back and you're telling me, you're telling me they're going to spawn right next to me. I got a deja vu. That's happened to me before. Absolutely tragic. My teammates are slaying out here. I've got to come out and assume here. That these guys are, yep, probably shooting down my streak. Now my teammates got an overwatch, so they're gonna shoot that down again. That man's trying to put the movement on me. I already got another VTOL, but I'm, I really don't want to call it in. The score is kind of crazy. That I will use. I get grease and the other team is just getting absolutely slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. I don't want to hit my uh, VTOL here. I'm not going to. If I do that, they're going to just try to shoot it down again, and I'm not really trying to deal with that. Kind of want to pick up the car 98. I wish my team would just leave the hill. Just leave it alone, man. Can't fault them, but game could be much longer. I'm approaching DNA bomb territory too. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna try to flip these spawns out. I'm gonna get over here and maybe they spawn on the objective. I love this map, man, but it's hard to post it when I aren't getting kills. I'm sorry, not, not getting kills when the game lasts two seconds. Now we got people not playing. Tragic. I have a lot of kills, so that's not the issue. The issue isn't the kills. The issue is simply falling on time of the game. Like I'm at seven and a half minutes. Actually, this could be manageable. I don't want to complain. Maybe they give me a fight back here. Hopefully they give me a fight back. I'm not going to hold my breath for it. I think I just have hill kittens. Yeah, I got the guy second place on my team is two minutes and 45 seconds on the objective. Things are making sense here. Sixty seven. Can I pump up any more? Hmm. We're just going to have to wait and see. Advise, advise. 
And keep in mind, this is with only one VTOL in the air, so I'm getting a lot of gun kills here. Oh, you gotta win that. You also gotta win that. You had a Saperi, sir. That's gotta be a win from you. Kobe. Oh my goodness. I think they're too far. Take a three piece long shot to end the game. It ended up working out, but man, I miss those games that last like 14 minutes where I can get like 120 kills. Those are always the biggest of bangers.